Yo, what's going on guys? Ism here and today I'll be going over a PUBG video where I commentate over what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and in this video I'm specifically going to be talking about positioning in the circle, where the circle goes, where you should go in terms of that. Uh, at least this works for Arangale, but I mean this could work for other maps too. You just got to know what you're looking for and I'll be also telling you my mistakes in here, which will be even more fun. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and sub. Okay, it seems like the path is basically straight through uh, the map, so I'll be looking at where I want to go, and always I normally land away from people, but if I have to contest someone, I will. Always remember, if you got if you want to contest someone, you, and you want to go to that place, well, you're going to have to contest someone. But if you want to venture out further, you can go down and get a vehicle and venture out further if you like. But back in the day in PUBG, you could actually glide all the way down to where you wanted to go now you you can do that but it takes so long and you might as well just get a vehicle and go where you want to go but right now i'm going to be landing at the i think the museum I, I call it the museum part of uh Arango. so yeah it'll be fun uh going down here again because they changed a lot they changed this map quite a lot which oh, i, I like most of it uh I, I don't like the swamp area I hate the swamp area. <laughs> I, I don't. I hate it with a passion. But uh, well, that's that's in any game, okay? But uh, I think there is someone landing right behind me in that compound, and and I see someone else landing away from me. I don't know if they're going to for, for a vehicle or they're going to go to the city of uh, the to the north. So. Or not to the north, I think to the, the west. Right now, right now, I just instantly pick up a weapon. Now, you see me instantly re reload my weapon without picking up anything else. I see a lot of people, streamers and stuff, they uh, they reload, they then they pick something up, and then, then it cancels the reload. They reload, pick something up, it cancels the reload. It's not specific to streamers, just for, uh, I've seen gameplay of that too. Uh, just reload your weapon. It takes so much time, and there could be someone around you. You never know, and let, well, you do know if you uh, pay attention. Uh, make sure you always pay attention to see where someone lands and then I normally mark where someone lands that way I know where they're at and I can go after them if I want to uh, But always remember just reload just load your weapon There is no reason for you to pick up a weapon You have the ammo and then not to reload it or constantly keep reloading but cancel the reload due to picking your stuff up That's very common mistake people make but it could also be a costly mistake. So right now I'm just finishing up my looting experience. Uh, so I'll eventually get a, so I'm trying to find some first aids, but right now I'm just kind of look, looking around for uh, better grips and stuff. Uh, my favorite is the thumb grip and the, the vert grip, which the vert grip back in the day was really cool. And it, it uh, but the thumb grip gives you some ADS speed, so that'll help a lot in terms of uh, ADSing. Uh, the circle is pretty far away, and it looks like a military base ending, which I love these type of endings that are close, like on the edge of the water. These these are the the most fun that you could ever have in an ending, and the reason for that is because you could position yourself um, in in certain areas like where the rocks are and that's just fun to deal with it's not fun when you have to push out of it but when you have good timing well that's that's the best experience uh, right now I'm looking to see where that person is in the compound and I don't uh, I don't see anything I see doors open but I'm thinking like a bot might have looted it uh, I'm not really sure uh, because there's there's no one there it seems like and as you see I'm not making myself visible out in the distance in, in this field right here. I am using the tree line or what what left what is left of the tree line and I'm positioning myself behind the trees and, and cover. That way I have cover just in case. Now there are there could be people above me that could take this yeah, little I hill and that could be bad for me, but at least I have cover. Well, I did have cover, but at least I did have a cover uh, at the um, previously. So I am exposing myself right now, but I'm also going to be looking for a vehicle because we have a long way to travel. And typically when these when these uh, type of circle happens, you don't really know if it's going to be a south circle or north cir circle because the circle's still pretty random right now. Um, so if you see someone on the vehicle, you can take shots at him. Sure. If you think you can get him, go for it. 
right now I'm, I'm uh, kind of exposing myself to, to shots and I have no cover. So at any time you shoot at someone, make sure you have cover or at least smokes just so you can smoke yourself up. I have neither of those, no cover, no smoke. So the only thing I have, if someone toward the bike was shooting at me, I could uh, at least go down the hill, but I could be susceptible to shots behind me. Uh, I'm going after the UAS right now. So that way I can get to the circle and get position. And I don't know if the guy in the compound right next to me went to the the compound where the vehicle's at. Uh, still not seeing anyone, so I, I don't really know where he went. And now I discovered a uh, whatever this this is in the map. It kind of looks like they used the terrain editor and then lowered the that specific terrain, and it doesn't match up with the the road texture. Who I don't know. But it's, it's still like that, actually, I think, Damn, I and, and even after the update. All right, so now here's the thing. I will use vehicles when I have when I have to, and I just got shot at, and I think it's, it is the guy from the compound. He, I guess he was there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand people half the time. But yeah, he's there. Keep shooting at me. I, I don't know if this is a bot or I don't think this was a bot. This this might have been a bot. Uh, it's kind of acting like one. But uh, who, pff, I, pff, half the time I don't know. So uh, yeah. Also, if you suck at drive-bys, you can still you could practice them. But I wouldn't do them all the time. Right now I am because it's, I'm just <laughs> I'm trying to get better. <laughs> hey, it worked out, right? Right? It worked out. Okay. Um. I don't think this was a bot, uh, but it, I mean, like I said, it could have been. I, I don't really know. At the time, I didn't even know either. And uh, yeah, so regardless, I dealt with him. Uh, I think judging from his loot, I don't I don't think it was a bot. And he had a level three vest, which was, took a while to bring him down with the ump from that distance. So yeah, uh, I guess it, it had to have been the guy who dropped there. It, ha it had to have been. If it wasn't, it probably it would have probably been a guy that came out of the bunker. That's probably where he went. Like if he wasn't down in that compound, he's probably in the bunkers. I didn't. I never even thought of that. The bunkers are, are somewhat decent loot. So yeah, on the on the vehicle to uh, topic, um, when you have a vehicle, it's loud. You can get shot out easily. And really not to mention, anyway. when you stop at really the, the this is my fatal thing that i hate about the the vehicles like when you when you go and you find somewhere that you want to sit and just wait out the circle or something or try to find people and then you stop well like i said your vehicle's loud and you don't know your surroundings you don't know this area like there could be someone right on top of you you wouldn't even know it so most definitely pick and choose vehicle timing um, I normally walk it out and if the circle kind of uh, shifts way far away, then I'll get a vehicle kind of like this. But at any time I, I would not get a vehicle. And the problem with this is someone could easily be bridge camping. Gotta love the good old bridge campers. Now what I should do is stop and then scope it out. But I don't, I'm not really sure if I do that or not. I think I just keep going and swerve. Which won't really do much because you have to drive straight and swerve. A, and I'm swerving a lot. Maybe, maybe, give or take. So, yeah. Um, swerving doesn't really kind of help. But, I mean, right, I at, at any moment, it, you could get lucky <laughs> enough to, to not get shot. Listen, so. No so, right now, I'm uh, looking toward no where shame. I'm going to go Don't next. To and in this, possible. like I said, in this circle, I love this ending. So I'm gonna try and aim for the the rocks here, um, if that's what I do now. But uh, I think I marked a little compound here at first, so I'm just kind of like playing ahead right now. Um, I'm not really sure if anyone's in there or not. So that's probably that's probably why I pass it up, or I'm just kind of like looking for a higher ground place. I normally if if I. Uh, don't go into compound or anything i'll, I'll normally I find like trees or a very large hill and place down that way i have a good line of sight of everything but it, it just seems like I, I'm, I'm going further and further and seeing uh what is left on, uh, over here at the rocks now I see someone uh oh, oh, he's shot. parachuting down they're getting he's getting shot at so like hmm this might be a good opportunity to to you know chime in 
<laughs> maybe, maybe just a little bit, right? So, I, I, I do stop here. I'm gonna see, I, I, but I don't see anyone, which is kind of weird. You hear all these shots, and then you just don't see anyone. May, maybe the trees covering up uh, my line of sight with uh, with these people, uh, or. You know, I'm just blind as shit. <laughs> it's one of the two, but I think it's just the trees being in the right time or the right position at the right time. So I don't see anyone. I'm not going to sit there and uh, make myself susceptible to people above me or I can get easily shot from any other direction because I stopped and look. Um, so right now I'm still making my way to the yeah, rocks and these are my favorite rocks to to continue a game on. Now, the problem with this is I see a boat. Uh, I don't think that's not a spawn, but it, I mean, it could be a spawn, but I don't think it is. It looks like way oh, too shit. close to the uh, the sand. And someone's shooting at me. They could be at the compound, the, the way the shots are, which is behind the U.S. Oh, why does that sound and the biggest problem with this area is the, the rock above me. And that's, uh, yeah, that's bad. He's trying to shoot my tire out. Or, yeah, he's right there at the compound trying to shoot my tire out. And as you see, I'm ducking, peeking, duck, peek, duck, peek. That way uh, he could try not get as many shots off. But he <laughs> he's not that very accurate. Good, good thing he's not accurate, okay? Otherwise, I'd be 10 times dead over. Uh... So the, the another problem with this is someone further out behind me can easily shoot me. But I don't, I don't think in this uh, scenario people will actually try. But you never know. They could try. So I think it would be better to uh, to try and position the U.S. In, in a way where it benefits you. Or uh, right now it benefits me in the front because of this guy. And I think I have this little ridge behind me. I'm not sure. So the U.S. could probably go behind me. But like I said, uh, it's probably best just to keep it right there. Um now they were fighting i got the pick off good for me right <laughs> so yeah he's re-picking he is most definitely uh trying he he's re-picking the same spot though so i'm gonna know where you're at unless he starts peeking a different spot uh i'm not sure if he's gonna do that eventually or not but i i do i do get ready for it like you see me looking more over to the other windows than in anything right now. Now this is where people are start uh, migrating over. And uh, this is also a bad spot just in case. Cause that guy on the boat could probably go up the rocks and then meet me on the side. So that we could easily run into each other then at that point. So I have to keep that in mind that the guy is over there He's coming in on the boat, and he could be right next to me soon. Yeah, as you see, I'm, I'm still looking for that guy and see if he uh, got another position. But it doesn't seem like he's uh, he's peeking just yet. And I'm just, you know, looking for boats and people swimming. Because that's normally what happens when the circle's like this. <clears throat> Alright, so this is a good opportunity to take shots at a boat. He's just going straight, really close to me. So I take the shots, try to get him, uh, try to get him taken down. That way, he's not a nuisance for me later, and I get the kill. So that's good. I, one less person I have to worry about. That's that's coming in on a boat. Now, the other guy who came in on a boat could easily killed him, but I did it for us. So good, good. Right now, I'm just looking at my surroundings, make sure no one's on the ferry, because someone could easily be on there. And then they could easily get shots on me if uh, they were on it and moving. Right now, I still look at that guy. I know he's still there, but I don't know if he's uh, taking another position or he's just too chicken to, you know, <laughs> keep looking at me or not. But I think he's he's staring. I feel like he's staring at me, but and he's waiting for me to just stop. But the thing is, I never stop moving. You should never, ever stop moving. I get shot at, and I don't think I know where it's from. But I, I, I still... Yep, there he is. Yep, he got a different position eventually. And he got a couple shots off of me. I don't have that many meds, so I use my bandages. This is why I pick up at least 10 bandages. Uh, between 8 to 10 bandages is good enough. 
So that way I don't waste my first aid just in case I really need it. And it seems like he stopped peeking. So that's good. Well, it's bad because I really need to get him picked off, but it's good. Uh, so I don't waste any more meds. And I think I hear something above me and it's probably the guy who came in on the boat earlier okay, now. And there's another boat crazy. This uh, listen, people will come in at the last second and then they get, they'll get domed on by us uh, who are holding these positions. So I know this guy's above me and it's uh it's very, very in um, irritating because oh I have a good position but he's all he's already up there with the even better position but he's also susceptible to all the other stuff especially this guy flying around and, pe and people on the other island now see the problem the problem with this people flying around is you're, you're going to want to shoot at him you're going to have this urge to shoot and the thing is you need to save your ammo and everything that way you don't you don't waste all your ammo and you have plenty of ammo now i'm, I'm nading this guy i'm trying to get a nade pick off of this guy i don't know uh i don't think they that they killed each other i just think the guy on the uh, he might have killed no uh, he might have killed him i didn't see it in the uh the, the kill log but he might have killed him now he's coming back around i don't know if he's coming back around to me but i'm still I must still hear him because he's he's up there now. The problem is when this guy comes around on his uh his little airplane, he's gonna wanna probably t uh, pick me off. But um, like I said, if if you have good, really good shots on him, you can easily take him out. And right there, I hit the ground or the rocks. Probably probably a bad thing because now uh, he knows where I'm at, and he's trying he's gonna get a pick. Luckily, uh, I get the pick. And he's he's gonna be hard to get to because if I stand on those rocks, I'll be uh, in line of sight of the dude in the compound, and then this guy's shooting at me. Which he takes out my vest, and I no, no longer have a vest. My meds are depleted almost, so I need to either loot this guy on the rocks or try to take this guy out uh, above me. And the thing is, when you go to shoot this guy in the, shoot any person in the airplane, you're going to stop and then shoot. And he could easily take you out wow. just like that. that and guy, some people, literally time. some people like that are way too good. They're absolutely beast. Like, uh, but I think he got me because for one, my vest was depleted Two, I wasn't full HP. So it was, uh, a, it was a nice shot, but uh, my health was low and had no vest. So sadly, sadly enough, uh, uh, that's, that's how it ended. But at the same time, I could have, I could have doubled back to the rock, looted him, the guy I killed, and then probably got his vest if it was a better vest than mine. And then got his meds if he had any, and any, any other utilities and stuff that I needed, uh, because smokes would have been really good. Uh, I did have to move out of uh, straight, which I probably should have done that. Now, seeing that I had to move up, I probably should have just moved up um, instead of staying there trying to like fight the uh, the guy in the airplane. That's my major mistake. When the circle is like this and you have someone flying around, it's best just to leave him alone, let him land with when the circle gets small enough, and just go on about our business. But you know, I, I went for the I went for the chance to to take him out didn't work and now looking back over what i did wrong what i could have done well now to be clear as day from the next time right and like i said this being my favorite circle the smokes will be your biggest thing to have because there there's cover you have cover especially a huge rock line um but when you have to push out smokes is your friend especially towards the beach area if that's where it's going to land uh, in terms of the circle movement i'll never know wh which way the circle went because i died from the guy on the airplane so anyway guys if you enjoyed this make sure you hit the like button and sub and i'll see you in the next one peace out